As always, links in the description. Save some money from your favorite saw bar retailers. What up, everybody? You know, we out here in the kitchen, man. We're going to do something a little bit different than just a review. Um, want to, you know, show people, like, what we do to kind of break in bats to make it last a little bit longer, you know, um, the type of balls that we use. I know a lot of people talk about using 52 300s, you know, to save your bat. And when you have a higher core with a lower compression, it'll rebound quicker off the bat. That's why they're so bouncy, so it won't do as much damage. Um, but today we have our 44 375s. I got uh, my favorite $40 spent right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Second favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brand new wrapper, man. Well, like I said, what we're going to do is, this is not just about hitting, but how to preserve your bat. This is a senior bat, um, a mistake a lot of people make. I think D. Marini used to, or they still do it. They would have numbers going across the barrel. I think one to 10 and one to 12. And that, that was trying to tell people to like keep rotating the bat. In order for you to try to preserve the life of your bat or to break it in evenly, after every swing, you want to give it a little bit of a quarter inch turn, you know? Um, and you still want to do the same thing for BP as well. You know, therefore, the benefits of that is you're not just beating on one spot of the bat, and you're going to get an entire even barrel. All right, so stay tuned, man. We're going to take some swings. We'll talk through it. You know, me, Alan, Shane, and you'll see how we get a good performance and life out of our bats. All right, guys, so um, as we get him ready, man, another thing, you don't ever want to just take a bat out of the wrapper and just go full speed, man. I think Shane said in one of the videos, you gotta make love to it, man. You know, you're not just gonna pull up and just go hard. You gotta take your time. So, you know, you're gonna notice on the first few swings, man, I'm gonna just hit some nice line drives, just try to loosen up the, the inner fibers of the barrel. And then, uh, you know, Alan Shane will go again. And then by the second round, we'll probably, you know, open up a little bit. But don't just pull the bat out of the wrapper and just try to go 350 guy, yeah, so you can brag on social media saying, oh, dude, first swing went about 360. Nah, man, that, no, it don't, you know, you can do what you want, but trying to get more life out of the bat. So right now I'm going probably about 70% on the swing right now. You probably started to hear that uh, sound change a little bit now. I'll probably do about three, four more swings. Make it 10. For a brand new bat, um, can't really see too many ball marks on it for a white bat, but again, you know, we've been rotating the bat. Allen about to jump in real quick and, you know, take about 10 swings. You're going to see the same thing. I think by the time Shane gets to it, he could probably open it up a little bit more. <laughs> Close out bats, $49. Oh. Get you one while they laugh. You see, I'm just half swinging, turning the barrel. And no sense going full blown yet. That one I wanted to turn on so bad. Yeah. <laughs> you will know about the bat because you go hear the sound, you go feel that sweet spot expand. Good hit. Come on now. There it is. She might be ready. All right, so now Shane got the bat about 30 swings in. And there it goes. There it is. There it is. Oh, me. <laughs> she eating now. Yep. Oh, you're gonna hit the golf cart. Oh. 
Hey, no, we are not refs to close our bats. No. But we will tell you where the deals are at. We don't care. Yeah, we yeah. want you to save money. If you notice, when me and Alan took our swings, man, um, we tried to square the ball up as much, as much as we could. By squaring it, you're going to try to hit the ball, uh, barrel flush. You know, that's why you saw more line drives, you know, a lot more grounders. Because again, we're just trying to hit the break in the inner walls. When Shane got to it, Shane started cutting more home runs. So he was getting more of the bottom part of the ball, elevating the ball, you know. Um, I would say in about eight, nine months, I think I probably broke maybe one bat, you know. And I mean, yes, we are testing a whole bunch of bats, but you still know, swinging my side of this. but yeah, we still swinging them outside of the camera rolling. Yeah. But it's all about that rotation. You can see the ball mark started to show up here now. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take about ten more swings, try to put a little bit more in it, and then we'll talk at the end. Now you flip the ball. There it is. Oh, there you go that time. Oh, 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 o